if you look at Sikh history to today, from Guru Nanak's time to today, that's roughly about 500 years, right? And the first 200 years actually like coincide with 200 years of Mughal rule, right? And then Mughal rule falls and, you know, like the gurus also leave and then there is another 200 day period. So basically Sikhism as it existed in the first 400 years and how it has been distorted in the last 100 years is completely different. It's like, for example, my great grandparents would come, they would not be able to relate to what is happening. So actually there is a magisterial book by written by one person called Harjot Obroy. Uh, it's called Construction of Religious Boundaries. It was written in 1994 and basically they became crazy, you know, because he basically destroyed this entire Khalistani narrative. So when even you talk about Hindu Sikh community, they, are, they were just like in overflowing, you know, like for example, you are a shark and you are a Vaishnav, you are as much a Hindu. So this was a moment in Punjab and there was no distinction between Hindus and Sikhs. There was not even two communities, but this was created. And, you know, when they say about fundamentalism, you have to understand something very curious that happened. So when they talked about fundamentalism, it was not going back to the fundamentals. It was actually, or going back to the tradition. It was distorting the tradition or basically killing the tradition for political ends. So this is what happened. And, you know, in that sense, because, you know, there was a English uh, government servant. His name was Arthur McAuliffe. So he was the first person who wrote like an extended history of the Sikhs. And, you know, because it was the first one in English, everybody referred to that source. And that basically what people are following now, it's not what our gurus wrote or what the books were written in Guru's time or Maharaja and Jee Singh's time. What are we telling is history basically created in McAuliffe. So that's people who basically follow an SGPC. They are called McAuliffe Sikhs or Met Sikhs. And you know, like he, he has written something so outrageous. So he basically writes six volumes and I just share an extract and I've, mm -hmm. I'll put it also on my Twitter. You know, you can share it. Some things you can't believe, but what he basically says, for example, he writes in volume five that the Guru Gobind Singh has said, how he knows, nobody knows, that when the English would come, oh, you Khalsa, you become one with the British. You become basically their mercenaries. You know, they will go east, west, you go along with them. You know, they will have like a very uh, glorious rule. And if you are very uh, loyal to them, you know, you will get everything. You will get money, fame, peace, and women. So this is your duty as the Sikhs basically becomes, you know, like uh, lap dogs of the British. This is what he has written. And, you know, this was promoted by the SGPC and, you know, their uh, people like that. So the, the entire history has been completely distorted and nobody can speak against it, you know, because they have controlled like the religious institutions and whatever you say, you know, like uh, I think you're from Karnataka, you, you know, it just becomes a religious thing. It's not a question yeah. about what is ethical, what is logical, but they just play this religious game. So that, that is the case, yeah. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.